Hi guys, so today we're going to be going over how to make new courses in Zenla. Given Zenla is an e-learning platform, we figured the best way to get started is to show you how to make a course. So this is the dashboard and this is where all the settings are. Then I'm going to go over to the top navigation bar and press courses. And then I'm going to scroll down and click create new course. I'll put in my course title. So I'll call it getting started because it's about getting started. And obviously it's about Zenla. So my subtitle appears just underneath the course. So I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about what the course is. And the course summary is just an elevator pitch for what your course should be. So there are two structures to your courses. There's sections, which are the overall objectives for your courses. And then there's lessons, which sit inside the sections. So let's write it, Let's make an example here. So I'm going to call my section creating a course. And I'm going to save changes. And then I'm going to add a lesson. So lessons are nested underneath sections. So I would want to provide a visual example. So I'm going to create a video and I'm going to upload it. This is a placeholder video. So let's just put that in quickly and I'll set it as compulsory. So every student has to watch it and I'm going to enable free preview to give everyone an example who's thinking of buying it and what was covered in the course. And then I'm going to save the changes. And there we go, my lesson's already created. And then I'm gonna add another lesson. And then we're gonna add in some text, which is just covers the key bullet points of what was in the video as a nice way of reinforcing what was previously taught in the video. And I'm gonna title it key points from the video. I'm gonna just press save on that. So as you can see, it's still there on the lessons and it's just under the video, video example. So it will go in the timeline. And then I'm going to put in a quick quiz just to make sure that everyone is aware of what is covered in the lesson. And then if multiple people get it wrong, I can then see what is the problems with my course. So I'm going to do a quick true or false quiz. And I'm just going to ask them, did they watch the video? But obviously you should make that a lot more in depth related to what your course is. I'm going to make it true because they have to watch the video because it's compulsory. And then just to make sure that it all works out and there's not anything silly in there, I'm gonna press preview quiz, just so I can do the quiz. See, it's true. And there we go, that's the end of the quiz. And I'm gonna save that. I'm going to go back to curriculum, which will take me back to the dashboard. And then I'm going to check what all my students can see. And so I'm going to preview it as a student. Going to the video and then you get a view and then you get a progress overview. So I'm then going to go into the next lesson. And then as you can see, there's my text. And then this is one of the benefits of previewing your lesson, because I can see that I haven't titled my lesson and it just goes to the default untitled lesson. So good thing I've previewed it and you should always preview your courses just before you launch, just before you publish them. There we go, and now I've gone back to the quiz. I know the answer's true, so I've pressed true, done. So I'm just gonna go back and make the changes and title my quiz, and I'm gonna make it compulsory, which again, make sure that everyone has to watch it. I've previewed it, I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna press publish course. And then for any reason, if I want to unpublish it, I can just press unpublish course right here. And then let's verify that my lesson's there. So I'm gonna copy and paste the first bit of my URL and I'm gonna paste it into a new tab. There we go. As you can see, my new course is there. So that's the end of today's lesson about getting started. The next lesson will be about how to design the page that we're currently looking at.